Sewing a t-shirt sleeve with ready-to-wear techniques isn't really that difficult. You just need to know the steps and details and that's what we're going to discuss. Now this rolled sleeve cuff is assembled just like the ready-to-wear one you see on your right hand side. You can use your sewing machine, you can use your serger if you have one, but sewing machine will do just fine. You don't have to have any fancy equipment to replicate this awesome technique. Now the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to start by cutting your pattern pieces. If your t-shirt sleeve features a built-in hem, just go ahead and fold it onto itself and cut your sleeve without that hem. You will see why in just about a moment. Now it is time to cut your cuff. Now this ready to wear cuff is about two and a half inches folded, which makes it about six inches unfolded, including the seam allowance. Mine is about three inches unfolded, which will make it about inch and a half folded in. Now you can make yours as wide as you want. I just did not want mine to be super bulky. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cut your cuff and then you're gonna fold it onto itself very neatly. And then you're gonna place it on top of your sleeve. So now that it's pressed really nice, Nice and neatly just place it on top of your sleeve right sides together and that's how you're going to sew it now that that is done fold the cuff in half again just like so slightly pinch it together to catch the fold on the seam place the sleeve right sides together and serge I know it is a lot of words and visual is so much better so feel free to play this part a few times to ensure the correct assembly of your sleeve just make sure that everything lays nice and flat and it will be quite a bit of layers to stitch through but you can totally do it if I can do it you can do it just make sure that everything is folded onto itself just like you see on your screen all right, you did it. Now what we need to do is we need to top stitch that itty bitty little part of hem where it was folded onto itself because that is a bulky seam and we just need to make sure it lies flat and neat. Now take that tail of a serger thread, pull it back and fold that seam onto it so that way it is really nice and secure and you're going to top stitch just with a simple straight stitch on a sewing machine back and forth back and forth a couple of times and that should do it now after that to make it super nice and neat what you're going to do is you're going to pull those threads backwards onto the wrong side of your project and you're going to tie a knot that will leave it super nice and neat finish and no loose threads are going to be hanging as the final part of the project, we need to place small security stitches onto your rolled hem so that way they will hold it in place during wear, during wash time, and it will look nice and neat. There is three of them in total. One aligns with the shoulder seam and the other ones go in the middle. Mark them with your pins and again sew back and forth, back and forth a couple of times. Pull threads backwards, tie them in a knot, cut them for a really nice and neat finish. Then attach your sleeve to the main project and ta-da! You have a wonderful t-shirt with a sleeve that looks nice and polished just like the ones you see in ready-to-wear stores. For more sleeve finishing options, definitely check out these videos that you see on your screen right now and happy sewing and I hope to see you here soon. Bye!